Hey, what is going on everybody? Aaron here from Break the Internet and welcome back to another video today on the channel guys. Today what you're going to be watching is a very short and sweet tutorial on how to stream on Stream.me, one of the new streaming platforms using OBS or Open Broadcaster software. Now, if you're coming to this video and you've never used OBS before, then you might want to look at another video to get all of, like the actual stream settings down. Um, but in this video, I'm just showing you how to get your stream key and your FMS URL into OBS so you can stream directly from OBS onto uh, Stream.me. On me. So just one more thing before we start, huge shout out and thank you to a lot of you that are continuing to watch through my channel for my last video. Uh, it was kind of like one of those one hit wonder videos where it gets like a bunch of views and then only get like a few subscribers off of that. So thank you guys if you're still watching and I have, I'll probably do some like tutorials on like your phone and computer tutorials um, from here on out on this channel. So anyway guys, let's get right on into it. Like I said, on your settings of OBS, you want to go to settings and anything with the general encoding video audio, all that stuff just depends on what your computer can handle and what kind of like specs that your computer has. And like I said, you're going to have to go to another video to figure out those specific settings. Uh, but what we're looking out in today's video is broadcast settings. So you want to go ahead and click that right there. And then your mode is currently going to be sound live stream. It should be there uh, once you start up your program, but your streaming service is what you're going to want to look for. So if you use OBS before you've probably used it for Twitch you've probably used it for YouTube or you might have even used it for hitbox.tv or really any of these but what you're going to want to do for stream.me uh, since it's a newer program or a newer streaming platform you're going to want to click custom now that's really all you have to do on here they're going to be found on stream.me so what you're going to do is bring up your computer go to stream.me and um, this is of course this tutorial is considering that you already have an account and that you've already verified and everything and you can get these different buttons up here. So I'm signed in as Aaron FPS and you're gonna to wanna to go over to broadcast. Now once you click broadcast, of course you'll see your little chat over here, it might be empty if you've never streamed before and then you're gonna get this kind of, this is your dashboard um, of your broadcast. So down here it should say preview, stream me. Uh, this is where the preview would be if you were actually streaming but over here is what we're gonna be looking at the most. Now my key and path are blocked out, uh, we'll get to that in just a second. So your title, you're gonna to wanna to have that title at whatever you want to. Do for own fleek that's my favorite part right there um, but then of course you can update it whenever you want your video quality low medium high whatever you want to do and what we're looking for again is the broadcast settings so you're going to have a key and a path right here so really just how to do it is follow this tutorial right here and it's a, just a kind of like a text tutorial but i thought this might be a little bit easier for you guys so your key what you're going to do is grab your key copy the entire thing nothing else not the path key or anything like that i uh, would just Copy that, it's, you can either control C or you can copy, right click and copy it. And then you're gonna go back to your OBS. And once you're over here, it says play path or stream key, if any, and you wanna click there and you want to paste that right in there. Make sure you have that entire stream key pasted in there. Now for your FMS URL, you're gonna to wanna to go to your path and it should, say, it should say RTMP colon slash slash and then something for you, um, depending on your origin and stuff like that. So you're gonna, once again, highlight the entire thing, copy that, once you have that, go over back to OBS, click on the FMS URL and paste that one right in. Now once you have everything said, you can make sure you have all this, whatever you want it to, auto connect, doesn't really matter, you can click that if you want to, um, really all this stuff and then of course where your file is going to go if you want it to record as you stream so you can get it uploaded to YouTube and all that good stuff. So once you're done with that, click apply, apply down there, click OK and you're basically done. Um, now all you really have to do is, um, I'm right now I'm recording with this so I can't click like start streaming. I could, um, but it would start streaming, I don't want to do that and my computer actually can't handle it. Something's wrong with my computer lately and it kind of crashed every time I try to start streaming. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, just make sure you have your uh, stream key and your path everything down and uh, you should be good. Uh, of course, I says stop streaming right here, but you just have to click start streaming. Everything will set up, it'll boot up, and then when you go to your stream.me, it should come up with a little preview right here and uh, you should be good to go. So anyway guys, hope this was a short enough tutorial for you. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below. It does show me that you enjoy the videos as well as get me a little bit higher ranked over on YouTube and uh, possibly to help a lot of other people that are be gonna be coming over to stream.me to stream and uh, I really like helping people out. So anyway guys, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to comment, read, subscribe. My name is Aaron once again here from Break the Internet and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Later guys.